Need to put our chain tensioner on. Okay, so it's going to go on the frame like this here, and it's going to wind up something like that. The purpose of the wheel is to a lot to uh, let let the chain roll across it, and of course, the plastic wheel is going to be used to to push up on the chain to to uh, take a, take the slack out of it here. Put my bottom bolt, I mean my my upper bolt in and push the wheel down to where it's almost rubbing it and then tighten it up. This way here I can get a wrench over the head of the bolt to tighten it. You want to tighten this up here. Hopefully you'll have a little bit of gap left when you get it fully tightened. If you get it good and tight and it's completely uh, the outer plate is compressed against the, uh, the top piece on both the top and the bottom uh, it's it's not going to have a good snug fit. You don't want to tighten it up so much you crush the uh, the chain stay here. But you do want to get it fairly snug. Uh, you want to keep it very snug as well. You don't want this to slide into the spokes. If you're in operation and this slides into the spokes, uh, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, you're you're going to wreck. So it, it's going to just lock the wheel up immediately. Uh, you want to tighten up both sides fairly even and ultimately wind up with the same amount of gap, top and bottom. And it, it's almost snug enough here as it is now. And I'm going to tighten it up a little bit as well with the uh, as rough as the sprocket. The drive sprocket here was cut from the factory. It's going to wear in a good bit. Okay, as well, you want to look at your chain. Make sure that you, if when you're looking straight down on the bike, you have your center line of the bike. You want to have your, your center line and then your chain be even. If, you, if, if they're off, they're skewed, you're going to have problems. So you have your center line of the bike. Then you have your chain, so you want them running parallel. If, if your chain is, is, is going in or out, you're going to have problems either uh, with the chain coming off the rear sprocket or your front sprocket and you want to make sure looking down upon the chains that uh, if you're looking straight down that the top chain is directly above the uh, the bottom chain here if if they're skewed you're going to have problems as well you can use your uh, chain tensioner to uh, to kind of guide the chain a little bit here to make sure that we got everything in alignment here one thing you do want to check the screw here for the brake the screw uh, protrudes and sometimes that can bump into the uh, the chain or the sprocket. I am going to have to bend the brake arm out a little bit in order to clear that. There we go. We're good to go. You want to rotate the the wheel have the chain spin around some. If you hear any popping, that'll tell you that you have some problems with alignment on the chain. I don't hear any uh, popping or anything. I do hear the noise from this ratty ass plastic. Okay, now you can see this one here has the rounded end, and then this one here just has a square slotted end. The square slotted end goes to the back. That allows the cable to go in, and then when you pull the cable, the, the cable end goes into the round piece there, and that's what uh, pulls the holds the cable in. And then this is how you will operate the throttle here. the throttle has a stop here on the other side you have the screw here well the other end of this screw is the stop that way when you when you release
That way when you release the throttle, it stops against the screw and you can hear a noise when it, when it bottoms out. That, that noise tells you that your throttle is shutting all the way. Uh, when uh, th there's not a lot of slack here, this is the end that's going to go on the twist grip. There's not a lot of slack in the throttle cable. So uh, if, if there's not enough slack, uh, you'll, you'll be partially holding the throttle open and the bike will idle way too high. So that's something you want to, want to check for. The cable, I route the cable, let it curve here. The gap between the transmission plate and the motor is where I will let the cable ride. It will ride there. The, the heat from the motor won't affect it. You don't want to get it bending too tight here. Uh, that'll, that'll cause uh, some problems with operation in the cable. Uh, nor do you want, to want the cable getting inside of the, uh, the, 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 the plastic transmission cover here because if it gets caught up in there, obviously, you know, you, you can have some major problems here. Okay, so we have our motor in. It's secured. We've got our throttle cable on. We have our bottom bracket installed. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this, start finishing this bad boy up. Here's your, uh, your extended, your, your crank arm here. That gives you uh, the, the clearance you need. I will give it a little love tap to seat it. These nuts here, these flange nuts, you want to be sure and use Loctite on them. They will have a habit of coming loose if you don't. And of course they fall off when you least uh, expect it to. And the next thing you know your, uh, your crank arm just falls off on you and you don't have a clue where the nut is. Okay, I'm going to need to uh, adjust the, uh, move the adjuster in a little bit and take a little bit of slack out of the cable. As well, you can check and see if you have any wiggle room once you, you, you get the, uh, the uh, cable end in here. Now granted, I don't have it on the, uh, the handlebar yet, but uh, I can just see I've, I've done enough of these here that we're just a little bit tight. Nope, it's perfect. It, I can hear it. That little tink, tink sound is uh, the, uh, the carburetor closing fully, so we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and get this mounted on the handlebar. Okay, so we're ready to start wrapping this baby up here. We've got to put the throttle on the handlebar. I mounted on the right hand side. You've got your throttle housing here. You have the two screws. Take the screws out. Be very careful. Uh, there are two nuts uh, that quite often will come loose when you take the screws out. This one here has the, uh, the threaded inserts that are molded into the plastic. Uh, but quite often there's just loose nuts, so when you remove the screws, pull, uh, separate the two halves from each other, the nuts will fall out. So be very careful there. I've got my throttle cable here. You have the place where it goes here. It's threaded. You push the throttle cable in. And where the, the throttle cable will, will, needs to come through and come out here, and be available for the uh, the throttle uh, handle to uh, to be uh, hooked up to it here. Quite often on some of these here, right where the the cable end is, right here, is blocked off. Uh, in casting, they, they don't do the best of job in casting. Sometimes you have to cut some of the plastic off here for this piece to go through. You want to be very careful when you, if you cut that your throttle mounts here. This piece of the throttle here is supposed to stop here. It's not supposed to go down underneath. So as well when you install it you want to make sure that this does not go down inside of it when you put everything together you're going to have one you, you won't get a, uh, a complete close here. You won't be able to close the gap here, if this is not oriented right, you'll, you'll, uh, it'll be open, and if you tighten it up, it'll be very hard to tighten, and you may damage it. So, what we're going to do, to show you the right way, 
we're going to put the cable in and you can see it's through here you have the locking nut here I'll just screw that on just enough to where it, the, the nut is on the, uh, the threaded part here get the alignment right here then what we're going to do you have the hole here the cable end goes into the hole you have a slot here in the grip that is for the cable to be guided into and there is the the correct way you see I got a little bit of gap here and uh, ultimately we'll, we'll tighten up our fittings here we'll adjust our fittings to take uh, to get rid of that gap that way uh, when it's bottomed out you don't have any play in the cable here but that that's uh, that'll happen here in just a minute so we have this fitted onto the handlebar we, we push it all the way in the cap piece goes on top here and is screwed in there's a pin here it, uh, what we need to do is we need to mark and drill a 3 16 hole into the handlebar I've got a marks a lot here basically you have the straight line between the two uh, holes where the screws go into I'm gonna go back about maybe an eighth of an inch put my mark there you want to orient it and put my mark right there you want to orient it to where when the pin is going to be at a 90 degree angle to this plane here and then you want to think about where your cable is going to go here you don't want to mount it sorry this is in the way you don't want to mount it to where your your cable is up high I prefer to have the cable down low here even angled forward just a little bit so I have my mark I've got a punch here and I'm going to uh, going to mark it I'm going to test it make sure that the the pin goes in there we've got a nice secure fit as well you want the the cap to go all the way down and seat firmly against the handlebar when it's uh, in the installed position we've got that we got to take it off in order to put things on here you have the plastic tab which needs to go inside here be careful not to break it off take your time you want to get the the pin into the hole and push push it firmly together hold it by hand and make sure that you have no gap that you can push everything firmly together twist your throttle back just a little bit to make sure that 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 white cam piece here isn't going down inside like I warned you about put our screws in and on some of these like I remember the uh, the the nut will fall out and you'll have to push the nut in from the bottom and hold it too you kinda need three hands to do this here what I do is I start both of my screws here don't get in, don't start getting it real tight yet you want to make sure like I said that you have the gaps closed it's firmly together and you can operate your cable here and you'll see at the carburetor that the linkage is moving let's go ahead and just get the screws to bottom out we're not getting it tight yet I've got the screws bottomed out 
here check operation everything's good now let's go ahead and, uh, and just get it snug just a little bit we don't want to get these screws super tight this is a plastic housing you go getting this real tight you're gonna crack it so we don't want to do that we just want to get it snug and the first uh, I don't know 10 20 times every time you get on the bike here when the bikes new check it make sure that you don't have any play in here and uh, just you know make sure that you've got it just tight enough to do the job okay here you can see your throttle working here 